Hey guys, what's up? I'm Sarujin. Welcome to the fifth episode of Logo History Rebooted. Hey there guys. Sean here and welcome to episode 8 of Logo History. Hello YouTube. This is episode 59 of Logo History. Hey guys, and welcome to the fifth episode of Logo History. Hey guys, here to try story two stupid dogs fan 2007. Today I'm going with the 189th episode of Logo History. Hey there guys, KY here and welcome to the 78th episode of Logo History. Hey guys, it's your boy, Peter John. Welcome for episode 64 of Logo History. Hey guys, Retro Galaxy here. And welcome to 30th episode of Logo Evolution. Hey there guys, Robert here, and welcome to episode 183 of Logo History 2. For today's episode, we're going to look at Discord. Today this episode, we're going to talking about Discord. Today we're, today we're going to have a look at Discord. Today will be Discord. Hope you enjoy it. Today we're talking about Discord. For this episode, we're going to be taking a look at Discord. Today I am going to talk about Discord. Alright, let's begin the video. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at Discord. For this episode, we're going to have a look at Discord. Here's the short bite if you don't know what Discord is. It is a VOIP instant messaging and digital distribution platform that is released on May 13th, 2015. It is designed for creating communities. It is written in JavaScript with React, Elixir, Python, and Rust. It can be operated on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, iPad OS, Android, and web browsers. It can be available in 28 languages. Here's a short bio if you don't know what Discord is. Discord is a VoIP, instant messaging and digital distribution platform designed for creating communities. Users communicate with voice calls, video calls, text messaging, media, and files in private chats or as part of communities called servers. It is a VoIP, instant messaging and digital distribution platform designed for creating communities. Here's the info about it if you don't know what Discord is. It is a VoIP, instant messaging and digital distribution platform designed for creating communities. Users communicate with voice calls, video calls, text messaging, media and files and private chats or as part of communities called servers. Servers are a collection of persistent chat rooms and voice chat channels. Discord runs on Windows, MacOS, Android, iOS, iPados, Linux, and in web browsers. As of December 2020, the service has over 140 million monthly active users. Here's the short part of you don't know what Discord is. It is a proprietary freeware VOIP application and digital distribution platform that was released on May 13, 2015. It is designed for communities ranging from gamers to education and business. It is written in JavaScript, React, Elixir, and Rust. It can be operated on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, Android, and other web browsers. It can be available in 27 languages. Its website is discord.com. Their website is discord.com. Their website is discord.com. All right, so Discord. An application a lot of people use, but not me. I really don't use Discord. Um, two days ago, in the live chat for the premiere of episode 7 of the Logo History collab on McDonald's, um, the FBI and other stuff told me that there was a user named robg 47 l and I was like, oh, that's probably just a user probably imitating me. I really don't use Discord. So if you see a user on Discord named RobGeo0407L, please don't follow it. Please don't be a member of that, you know, Discord account named RobGeo0407L. Because I, because I don't use Discord at all. Again, that's probably someone imitating me. And uh, yeah, I'm really not interested in uh, Discord either. Because 
you know, I'm not the gaming type of person. Of course, I hear of games like Ultimate and Fortnite, but that, is, but that doesn't mean I, you know, kind of like play them. And when I mean Ultimate, I mean like Smash Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. I actually don't play uh, games that often as I used to. So yeah, a new way to chat with your communities and friends. Um, Discord is the easiest way to communicate over voice, video, and text. Whether you're a part of a school club, a nightly gaming group, or a worldwide art community, or just a handful of friends that want to hang out. Also, you know, you know, um, Peter John has like a Discord server, obviously, because he already said it in his, uh, channel. And, um, yeah, requests were closed as of yesterday, you know? You know, because, you know, like, you know, when he, when he doesn't say the rules on how to request, that means requests are closed. When he says, when he says the rules on how to request, then that means, you know, requests are open. But, in this case, requests are closed. Sorry, guys. Well, requests are closed for Peter John's channel, not, not mine. Um... I might kind of follow in the same footsteps as Peter John, maybe. You know, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna say, I'm probably gonna say the rules when requests are open, and not say the rules when requests are closed. I might start doing that in the near future. You know, cause, cause you know, it's probably not fair to a lot of people. You know. So uh, yeah, let's go back to this episode, shall we? And now, without further ado, let's get started. And now, without further ado, let's get started. Now, let's start. First, we'll be Discord. Alright, now we'll take a look at Discord. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, now I am going to talk about Discord. And now, without further ado, let's get started. And now, without further ado, let's get started. 2015 to 2021, there is a blurple speech bubble and inside it there is the company's mascot clyde in the right of the speech bubble there's the word discord in blurple text 2015 present there is the word discord in blue text and left on there is the blue shape represented chat and inside there is the robot mask symbol here's the icon 2015 to the present we have a lavender chat bubble. Inside it, there is a white thing that I can't pronounce. Next to it, we have the word Discord and lavender text. And here are two icons. And this is the inverted icon. 2015 to the present. This logo has a purple shape. Inside the purple shape, there is a smiling face in the shape of a gaming controller. Next to that, there is the word Discord in purple text. Here is the icon used from 2015 to 2017. Here is the icon used from 2017 to the present. Here is an inverted icon. 2015 to 2021, there's Clyde inside of Boost Speech Bubble on both sides. There's word Discord in purple text. 2015 to the present, there is the Discord bot. And next to it, there is the word Discord in blue text. Here's seven variants. 2015 to the present, there is the word Discord in light purple text, and on the left, there is a light purple shape, and inside it, there is their mascot that looks like a robot. Here is the icon, a variant and an intro. Twenty fifteen to twenty twenty one, Discord was launched. We have the word Discord in blurple text. Next to that. We have its mascot Clyde inside of a blurple chat bubble. 2015 to the present, there is a lavender speech bubble with the white mascot. Next to the speech bubble, there is the word Discord in lavender text. 2021 to the present, the speech bubble has been removed. The font of the word Discord has changed, and the logo is now darker. 2021 to the present, Clyde is different. The blue speech bubble has been removed. It's, Clyde's now blue, and beside it, there's word. Discord and in purple text. 2021 to the present. The font has changed. The bot is no longer in a chat box. 
2021 to the present, there is a purple shape with two white circles on it, and it is Discord mascot Clyde. And on the right of Clyde, there is the word Discord in purple text with a new font. And now, the first letter of D is in uppercase. Here's the icon, the black icon, and the inverted icon. In 2021 to the present, the logo was redesigned. The font of the word Discord was changed and was now in a darker shade of blurple. The chat bubble was removed, and Clyde was modified, and I agree with the people who dislikes this logo, the 2015 logo was better than the 2021 one. I mean look at, this, this font looks really bland. If you guys like the 2021 logo, I respect your opinion. So anyways, let's move on to the end of this episode. Okay, that's the end of the episode of Logo History Rebooted. Stay tuned for the next episode, which is going to be about Kind Master, Google Slides, and Peter John. See you next time. Bye! Alright, thanks for watching for this episode of Logo History and I see you tomorrow for brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode 9, PBS. Bye bye. Alright, that's it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode 60, Cubo. And don't forget to request logos and then hashtag logo history for other episodes. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more logo history. I am extremely close to 400 subscribers, so be sure to hit that button and ring the bell. Alright, that's it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo. History, and I'll see you in the next episode. S stay tuned for... For episode 100... No, for 190. Mr. Reich, Brums, Metro, Bargary... Pepsi Cool, Pepsi Summer Mix, and two random logos. Bye for now. Okay, guys, this is it for today. Stay tuned for episode 79 of TVRI. Until tomorrow, bye. Guys, before ending the video I want to say you I made this episode about Discord because I want to announce my Discord server. In the server I talk about next episodes and more stuff. You can join it by clicking in the link in the description or clicking in the Discord link in the card. I will be waiting you. But okay guys, this is it for today. I really hope you liked it. Stay tuned for episode 64 that is going to be about NASCAR and Twin Cities public television. And also don't forget to let your suggestions down below to join my Discord server and to subscribe to my channel so you can watch my daily logo histories. I am Peter John, this is Logo History and until tomorrow, bye. Thanks for watching this episode of Logo Evolution. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video, as we are on the road to 500 subscribers. And stay tuned for episode 31, where we take a look at ABC, remastered again. Goodbye. Alright, that's it for now guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History 2, and don't forget to request a logo for the next episode guys. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss a single video from me, as we're on the road to 4,000 subs. Bye for now! Hey guys, what's up? I'm Sarujan. stay tuned for the next episode, which is going to be about Razor. See you next time, bye!